Do they look like clay? Since Life by You has been releasing its promos, we've got a decent look at the Life by You humans that will be populating the game and driving the storytelling of a new franchise. But not all is well received in the gaming community, as these Life by You humans have received their fair share of criticism. And to be honest, I think that the community's feedback on the look of the Life by You humans has been warranted. So let's jump in and discuss it. My name is Michael, and I want to welcome you back to Sovereign Gaming. In a world where looks and first impressions are everything, if not superficial, the graphics of the game is one of the most influential elements that gets players excited to play a video game, whether we want to admit to it or not. Part of the gaming experience is the look and feel of it, and to take players into another world, the graphics of the video game itself is a key player in inviting gamers to go on a journey, and in this case, the journey is receiving a fair bit of criticism. In general, the fandom for Life by You seems to have a mixed reaction when it comes to the graphics, specifically when it comes to the Life by You human characters. Pulling some of the reactions from Reddit, here's a couple that I wanted to share. I don't know if they have some sort of a ridiculously low LOD setting on, a strange DOF setting on, if they're literally using only a 25, 256 by 256 textures, if it's a default automated setting in the Unity build, whatever it is, it's horrid. I mean seriously, I can get past the graphics because I know I can make the game better with CC, but if the game is always going to be this blurry, then that will for sure be a game breaker for me. I don't want to feel like I'm looking at the game through a pair of finger smudge glasses. Simmers are snobby people, irregardless of the art style or lack of art style and the player's personal preference. The textures should be crisp and clear. At this point, I don't care whether the art style is realistic or cartoony, I just want good looking polished graphics. Right now they are rough AF, like a PlayStation 2 game. Even mobile games have better graphics. And then there's this Reddit user that said the following, I really 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 hope they update the graphics and the art style, cause right now it's ugly, and the game has no character. Paralives is charming and quaint, The Sims is wacky and cartoony, Life by You gives Unity Store asset vibes, which I know is not true, they made their own assets. The UI is basic, the lighting is rough and too bright, the branding is very you know that episode from Spongebob where he turns normal and he's like, Hi, how are ya? Branding is that, lol. Realistic? The graphics look terrible, tbh. And then lastly, this Reddit user said, I want cutting edge and top of the line graphics. Unfortunately, Life by You doesn't deliver that for me. The outside of the building seems okay to me, but everything inside, including the characters, gives me retro flashbacks to TS2 and a bit of TS3. It feels extremely dated to me, like technology hasn't advanced in the last decade. Though I have my worries, I'm loving the gameplay content that they are putting out. I know that I just inferred that video game graphics were superficial just a second ago, but the truth in the video game industry is that graphics you actually run deep and they can make or break a game, even leading to some hilarious glitches. Within the life simulation community, users have never been shy about providing constructive feedback on the graphics element of their favorite games. And if we go back in time when The Sims 4 was first released, there was a similar moment where users were constantly giving feedback on the graphics. In fact, I would actually describe it as outrage over the first gameplay looks at The Sims 4 way back in the day. And so with that said, I want to also mention that there is a difference between taking an artistic direction and making your graphics an unfortunate afterthought. And one of my favorite examples of this is actually the release of Zelda Wind Waker for the GameCube. As the next 3D Zelda game, if I remember correctly after Majora's Mask, players were expecting a more realistic direction to be taken with the graphics. So when first sneak peeks of Wind Waker started making its way publicly, Zelda fans were shocked at first, but began to quickly accept and adopt the clearly intended artistic direction that Nintendo took with Wind Waker. On a personal note, I actually did not like the Wind Waker cartoon style graphics myself. I thought that they were too childish for me to play. 
However, that doesn't mean that I don't respect the direction that Nintendo took because I do feel that they ultimately executed the graphics very well. It's just that cartoon style graphics like Wind Waker are just simply not my cup of tea when it comes to video games. Personally, I would argue that The Sims 4 didn't commit to an artistic direction in their graphics even after they did some updates to their graphics. In fact, my criticism on The Sims 4 is that it just looks like an updated Sims 2 graphics with an unintentional cartoony twist. To be fair, The Sims 4 looks a lot better now than it did at its first release, but its initial graphics were actually a huge turnoff for me and I never ended up actually purchasing the game. And part of that reason was the artistic direction at the time, or I guess the lack of it from what I'm criticizing here, and I just couldn't connect with the game. I could also already foresee The Sims 4 being a very low quality playing experience from the get-go when the first gameplay details came out, so there was no way I was actually going to purchase it. On the other hand, like just to draw a really stark comparison here, Paralives takes the cartoony style that The Sims 4 sort of ended up with, I guess, and actually made it beautiful. And even though I'm not a huge fan of cartoon-like graphics in video games, I actually like and love how Paralives looks because it is simply done well and it's beautiful. And out of all of the life simulation games coming out, I think that Paralives is the most beautiful. And so far, I'm in love with their soundtrack as well. But that's for another video sometime, I suppose. Anyways, you can tell that Paralives made a very clear decision in their art and graphic direction, much like Zelda Wind Waker did and they are actually executing on it in a very beautiful way. I couldn't do this video without mentioning Paralives because their artistic direction sets them apart very much the same way that Zelda Wind Waker did. For example, if you see screenshots of both Paralives and Wind Waker, no one would mistake them for other games from different franchises. It's a perfect example of effective branding within the product itself. And I commend both Nintendo and Paralives for making unmistakable branding decisions that will be referenced in the future. And if, ever, and if anybody knows who they referenced, then feel free to leave a comment below explaining where they would got their references from. But let's bring it back to life by you. I think that it is very interesting how The Sims 4 looks like updated Sims 2 graphics, and to me Life by You looks like it has updated Sims 3 graphics. I think that my biggest hang up with the graphics is that I feel like they, they are still in development and yes, I do think that they also look a little blurry, and I do mean this in the nicest way possible. Come this September, the early access version of Life by You will be made available to us, and the important part of that sentence is that it is the early access version. The devs have been very good at explaining that features and changes will likely occur before the base game official release. And I think that a big part of those changes could include updating the art direction and the graphics of the game. Like I said before, the graphics specifically on the Life by You humans feels like it's incomplete or at least completed to a point of playability. And when it comes to the environment, I'm actually very okay with how the houses, foliage and lighting look and what has been released so far. Although I find the colors to be a bit saturated in the environment, it's just the life by you humans that I think needs to continue evolving and should, rem uh, should remain a focal point for the development team. But more importantly, I want to know what you have to think about the graphics. Do you like the look of the environment and the life by you humans? Do you feel like life by you's graphics are developed just enough to release an early access version? And do you think that it's fair for a video game to have a graphic journey as time goes on? Or perhaps do you feel that video games need to get their graphics sorted before releasing anything publicly? Feel free to sound off in the comments below if you'd like. And until next time, I just want to thank you again for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe and like for more. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.